All right, so for guys that want to know how to uh, reset the uh, VVEL sensor after uh, they've mechanically degreed the uh, control shaft and uh, synchronized it with the stepper motor, so this is the actual instructions right here. So I'm going to go ahead and walk over to a car and explain it, but um, you know, just so you know, that's kind of the the deal there, you know. So. Um, you know, whenever you're first setting this thing up and installing the sensor on the stepper motor, there's two indicated lines on each side of the sensor, and then there's casting grooves. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the middle dead center, okay? And the reason for that is is that you want to have the best ability to um, um, get uh, your sensor dialed in with the most amount of uh, throw that you possibly can have uh, as far as range. So um, now I'm going to walk over to, and of course you can look at this, and you can also see the pins if you had to measure it in some kind of bizarre way, like with just a multimeter. Um, and of course this is uh, without the consult. Okay, so I don't know with the consult, this, I use uh, ECU tech, so and now we're going to walk over to a car and I'm going to explain a couple of things. All right, so we're over here at a uh, 370Z. Uh, this one happens to also be twin turbo. Um, okay, so with the, uh, now mind you that you put those sensors in the middle, okay? Um, now you're gonna start in a key off position. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're going to remove the VVEL relay and you're going to disconnect both of the VVEL stepper motor sensor harnesses. Okay, so once you do that, then you're gonna go inside the car, you're gonna go ahead and key on it for approximately five seconds, five to eight seconds, um, and then you're going to um, key off it, and then you're going to um, rehook up bank one, bank two, VVEL sensors, reinstall the relay, okay? Now, make sure you have your ECU tech, Bluetooth, laptop, whatever, it's all ready and set up. Um, hook that up and then you're going to go ahead and key on the car and in which that point you can um, look at the VVEL sensor range and you can begin to clock them back and forth um, just like the illustration until you can get it within range. Now when I say like you need to get it like you know 0 0.50 I get all of mine at literally 0 0.50 so now if you can't, um, through clocking it, uh, if you can't get it within range, that means that mechanically the stepper motor is not synchronized. So you need to go back into that, valve covers off, and then readjust and measure that. But um, that's pretty much the procedure. It works on every single car that I do. Um, and then, like I said, I've had these dynoed up to, uh, I think right now my highest is 970 horsepower on a VQ37 VHR.